Right, the big nasty one, and this is on the test. Okay, so, got to simplify that. Anything else? It asks me to do anything else. Let's have a look. Exponents to simplify. Write the answer with positive exponents. Okay, so. Um, now then, there's lots of different ways of starting this off. For those of you who know about negative exponents, if you flip them, they're positive exponents. So I could, I suppose, if I wanted to do, start like this. Right. That is an m. Right. Negative 8 fifths. If I do this, m positive 8 fifths, all right? I've just flipped that upside down. I know, Thomas, I know. The z is now on the bottom. It's negative, oh, now it's positive, sorry. Now it's positive 5, 6 as an exponent, okay? All that's been raised to the power 4. Right, I'm just going to deal with this. I'll just deal with this for now, okay? So, remember, when you are raising anything to the power 4, this is where you multiply the exponents, okay? So this m, all right? Right now, it's got 8 fifths, but it's been multiplied by 4. So 4 of 1, that's 32 fifths. Ugh. So we have m to the power 32 fifths, okay? That's the numerator, okay? So remember, the m is now on the top. I made it a positive exponent. And I multiplied it by 4. Now I'm going to multiply the 5, 6 by the 4. This is the z, all right? So that z, right now, Thomas, right now it's a 5, 6. I'm going to multiply it by 4, 4 over 1. Okay, so that will give me, is that 20 over 6? Which will reduce to 10 over 3. So the z is 10 over Okay, that's the exponent. Okay, I have just done all of that. All right. Okay, now I guess, I think for this one, I'm just going to go inside to outside. Remember, the power rule is when you multiply. So the z will be negative. Oh, positive. Oh, negative times negative. Okay, so that's positive 3 eighths. All right. In other words, okay, negative eighth times negative 3 is positive 3 eighths, okay? Right, how about this one? Ne 1 third times negative 3 is negative 1, 3 times a third, okay? So the m is going to be negative 1. Is that right? Okay, a third, do it to one side if you need to, a third times 3. Okay, and it's negative. Okay, I'll give you 1. Okay, so, um, right, that's what I've got so far. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this, remember, I don't want that to be a negative exponent, I'm going to make it a positive exponent by putting it on the bottom, alright? So that there, I'm going to cross off. I've now got all positive exponents. Okay, right, multiply these two together. How horrible is that? Good grief. Well, I can't really multiply uh, the top two ones and M1s as Z, but what I can do is, I can do this. Right, look at these. I'm not cross multiply. I'm looking. I have an M32. Oh, it's, it's not easy. Fifths on the top. I've got an M1 on the bottom. Okay. So remember, when you divide, you subtract exponents. What I've got is this. I might have more space. 32 fifths take away one. All right. But I'm going to change the one to five fifths because that's me writing it as a common denominator. All right? Okay, so 32 fifths take away 1 is 32 fifths take away 5 fifths. That is 27 fifths. So, all right, the M's. Here we go, here we go. The M's are 27 fifths. That is the first part of the answer. Okay, I've done the M's. Right, the Z's. Okay, the top one is a z to the 3 eighth. Okay, I'm dividing by this one, which is a z to the 10 thirds. Again with this, I subtract exponents. So let's get some erase up. Give me some space over here. So I'm subtracting because I'm dividing. Right, so what's 3 eighths? God blimey. 3 eighths take away 10 thirds. Common denominator, 24, okay, 
So multiply by 3, do the top by 3, that's 9 twenty-fourths. The 10 thirds in terms of twenty-fourths, we'll have multiplied by 8, okay? So the top by 8, that's 80. Of course, it's not easy, folks, I'll tell you right now. I'll work on this one. Right, okay, what's 9 twenty-fourths take away 80 twenty-fourths? That is negative 71 twenty. Fourths, right? So, oh, for a heck, I tell you. Um, so uh, that is it. Is that the Z's? Right, there we go. Okay. Now, the thing about this is, I don't want negative exponents. All right. So I've got to make this into a positive seventy-one over twenty-four. So right now, I'm saying that this is Z to the negative seventy-one over twenty-four. Because I subtracted. Okay, I did three eighths. Take away 10 thirds, all right, because it's a division. And I got negative 71 over 24. Well, here's the final answer. If I put it on the bottom, it's positive 71 24ths. And that is a belter of a question. Good grief. But if you think about it as just adding and subtracting fractions, then that's it. I'd love to look in the actual answer sheet and see if that's the answer. That's quite complicated. <laughs>